episodic memory. Um, episodic memory is something that is not talked about um, really in the ADHD world. It's an aspect of executive functioning. And why is it not talked about? Because it has to do with language. And as I often speak about, language is a topic um, that is completely kind of the mental health field just is, is off the radar screen with. Um, so here's how I explain episodic memory to kids. I say, picture your life as like a long YouTube video, okay? You can kind of like rewind on the video and see different points of your life. And when you see those points in your life, you remember kind of what you were feeling at that time. You know, so maybe if you were going on a roller coaster for the first time, you were really scared. But then afterwards, you know, you really liked it. Or, you know, you tried this food and it was gross or it smelled weird or, you know, whatever. I said, so that's called episodic memory. That's how we look back on our life as kind of a movie, so to speak, um, and have certain we remember the emotions associated with experiences. So how does this affect your son or daughter? Well, for kids with ADHD, their episodic memory is often um, not great. And the interesting thing is that it tends to, um, they tend to a lot of times remember things that have a strong negative emotion attached to it. So something that they really didn't enjoy, um, something that was upsetting to them, but even things that they might be successful with, they tend not to remember. Let me give you an example of just actually uh, yesterday. So I was speaking with a, a boy who's uh, in on the West Coast who is going to uh, an overnight camp, actually the overnight camp that I went to um, in New York this summer. And he said, you know, he said to me yesterday, I'm a little bit nervous about this and I'm wondering if I'm going to make friends. And I said to him, so last year you went to a different overnight camp, you know, um, in your state. And, and did you make friends there? He said, yeah, I made friends the first day. And I said, okay, well, this is going to be the same, but different. And that's the language we use with this. So it's going to be the same because it's just, you're going to, um, you know, a camp, you're going to have a similar experience like you did last year on the first day of camp, but it's going to be different because you're going to be in a different state. So that's the language we use with episodic memory is same, but different. And what we're trying to do is connect these past experiences and the emotions of past experiences with things in the present or in the near future. So this is something I teach in um, scaffolding better behavior um, and self-confidence. And what I teach is how to use episodic memory to help um, to help teach your son or daughter growth. So, for instance, you know, we might use it um, in this way to say, you know, so last time, you know, we we had to, uh, you know, we had to go to the dentist. You know, we we had to wait in the waiting room for a while and you got really impatient and you started complaining and you were getting irritable. And this time was different. You know, this time you were able to use your brain coach to um, to tell you that it's OK and, you know, you could handle being bored and you really did a great job this time. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting the past experience with the present. But what I'm doing in that process is I'm illustrating the growth from last time to this time. And why I'm doing that is because part of it with using um, what's called declarative languages, we want to help kids improve their self-directed talk, what I call their brain coach. But we also, here's an important part I want you to hear. We want them to be able to recognize their successes on their own. So if I just say something like that, like, you know, wow, last time we were here and we had to wait this long, you had a really hard time. I noticed you're having a much easier time, you know, right now. Then what your son or daughter has to do is they have to think, oh, well, what is my mom or my dad or my grandparent thinking about, right? And when they do that and they recognize their accomplishment and they recognize how they made growth, that's how you build self-confidence. So what I want you to take away from this tonight is that self-confidence is not built through you telling your child how great they are, you know, or how smart they are. Self-confidence is built when kids recognize their abilities in themselves. And that's how we build confidence. And that's why I titled this, you know, scaffolding better behavior and self-confidence, because I want you to be able to facilitate that process. Okay. So hope this is helpful. Um, and again, episodic memory is something that I cover in scaffolding better behavior. If you want to learn more about it, on my most recent ADHD Dude Live with Linda Murphy, author of the Declarative Language Handbook, we talk about it, which you can watch on my YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at the YouTube channel, and I'll uh, show you around the uh, membership site. All right. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.